Anthony, have you ever heard the phrase, laughter is the best form of medicine? Absolutely. Humor is a great way to bring people together, share experiences, and relate to one another. Well, that is the idea behind the Comedy on Wheels show by the Real Wheels Theatre Company. A diverse cast of performers with disabilities are going to present their own comedic acts, showing how they use humor to cope with their personal challenges. It takes a lot of courage to open up about one's life and laugh about it. I had the opportunity to attend a Comedy on Wheels rehearsal to learn more. People with disabilities are people too. They are part of society. They shouldn't be disrespected. They shouldn't be shunned away. Just because they have disabilities doesn't mean they can't do anything. They're still able to do whatever they want to do and whatever they put their minds to, and society should just accept that. Professional actor Martin Thompson is part of a cast that includes members of the disability community who have put their minds to making people laugh. As a member of the Real Wheels Comedy on Wheels production, Martin, who is a below-the-knee amputee, has found laughter a helpful ally against life's challenges. I was bullied in school when I was young. Uh, learned to fight at an early age to stop all that bullying. But it's, it's how society perceives uh, people with disabilities. We all get down on ourselves on some days in depression or whatever, you just feeling kind of down. <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine. It, it truly is in a lot of ways. It, it releases a lot of stress. It helps create those uh, feel-good endorphin hormones. Although a lot of fun, managing artistic director Rena Cohen says that creating comedy isn't an easy task. I've gone blind already. How do you think I went blind? It's hard to be funny. I mean, you know, you try to tell the joke. Even knowing the, the structure of how to do it, learning that, doesn't necessarily make it easy. Comedy is, is hard. The audiences are a hard sell, right? We're all pretty sophisticated, and we have a very high, uh, high bar expectation for what is funny. And creating new work that's funny, and then developing a performance around that, rehearsing it, and, and performing it for an audience in a period of about 13, 14 weeks where we're just meeting twice a week in the gym uh, is tremendously challenging. Training and coaching is especially important for the cast to have a successful production. Cast member Aaron Bush found Rena's experience helpful. Rena knows what she's looking for. Uh, Rena has a solid background in the theatrical and in uh, theater industry. She's a director that wants to work with her actors to, to find a, like a common meeting ground. She opens everything with a uh, with warm heart and caring soul for everybody. She wants you to search yourself and find out who you really are and then just bring it all together. For Rena, the results come from more than the coaching she provides. Cast members feed off each other and Martin's involvement has been very positive for the group. Martin came in with a completely open heart and open mind, willingness to engage in this process with us, and he's done extraordinary work. It benefits everybody to be present to Martin's level of accomplishment and professionalism. And that professionalism is something that Aaron feels should be embraced by the community. Support the people in your, uh, in the disability community. Uh, they're doing it for reasons that broaden public uh, awareness. They all have a message to share. I feel the entire disability community would be very proud to see. There's amazing stand-up, there's very funny scenes, we've got musical comedy, we've got slam poetry. It's really a terrific variety show of the type that's very rarely done these days. Which is ultimately appropriate for a show with such a wide variety and diversity of performers on stage. After hearing from the cast of Comedy on Wheels, it's clear how important this opportunity is. Everybody is putting their heart and soul into preparing for this show. For sure. I love how the show is supposed to be funny, not inspiring, but I bet it'll get the audience thinking as well, because the stories are very meaningful. Comedy on Wheels runs from Thursday, May 18th to the 20th at Performance Works on Granville Island. It will be audio described by Vocali and accessible through ASL. And shuttle buses will be available to and from the venue. And did I already mention the show is hilarious? We didn't want to give away too many spoilers in the story. So if you're in the Vancouver area, you've got to check this out for yourself. You can get more info at realwheels.ca.